Okay, John, I just wanted to kind of show you this video and YouTube it and kind of communicate what I did over here today. So it might look quite a bit different. So as I look back here, first of all, the first thing I did this morning is I kind of just took everything out over here. Um, I put some of the more permanent machines, the laser cutter, CNC, vinyl cutter. Now for right now, this is just a bunch of stuff I don't know what to do with. Um, it's a bunch of screws, bolts, nuts, everything that I came across that I would lay out that I didn't see we needed directly for our, M our i3 kit, for the i3 kits. Um, but this space later on, I intend, because it's a nice stable platform, I intend to put 3D, you know, maybe we could uh, put our 3D printers right here. Um, so this would be just like a whole area for just permanent type of stuff and machines that we are going to use with the in, the, in our area. I put, took a lot of stuff out. I left some things in here. The big deal you got to know about over in this corner is that you're going to find all the tools that you need right in this second drawer right here or right next to it down on this shelf over here. And I mean, we found a ton of tools and I thought I was done and I found even more of them that I still haven't sorted this bunch here. But anything you're looking for is gonna be here, here. You got soldering irons, hot glue guns, uh, some other tools and things like that up here. You can see I've moved the case. We have the, this is this racks on rollers. It's our storage rack. Um, they had to get rid of the sewing machines in the back so we moved them up here. Now this is the biggest deal where I spend a majority of my time uh, in the afternoon. You can see I've labeled what each door, each drawer, and it's kind of drowning out in the light, but I've labeled what each drawer is for. Let's see if you can see that now. And um, inside of them, you have everything that we need. I've eliminated all the screws and things like that that don't go with our kit. I think I have, obviously there might be some things. Top drawer fasteners only, just fasteners. Printed parts and stuff for like mechanical stuff for the drive chain, like couplers, bearings, GT2, printed parts, whatever. Oh, springs were in there too. Down here, we have just the main bulk of the electronics and the wiring, fans, you've got micro switches, control boards, things like that. Thermal stuff. A lot of our thermal stuff is down here. This drawer could probably take on a little more. Captain tape, heated beds. Uh, resistors and thermistors and everything else is kind of down here it's labeled on the outside I did find some 1.75 filament you got two one pound rolls so almost a kilogram of that um, PTFE tubing die bond plates stuff like that and right over here we've moved all the rep wrap stuff over here I tried to kind of keep this as much together as I could um, but Things have really moved. Over here, I started it, but I did not get finished yet. Um, we started out with a lab, so these things can be mobile. They can move to anywhere in the space that we need them. I've just set them up, and after I set up two monitors per station, I realized that these cards had the graphics cards pulled out, or these machines have the graphics card pulled out. So if you happen to have anything at all that'll run dual display, that would be kind of cool, because we can have this uh, for design work. Obviously, we're gonna have to probably run ethernet and some sort of a power cord hanging down here. I'd also like to get a power cord hanging down here for the takedowns or for the take apart station or pull apart station. So anyways, um, apologize if anything's really missing or anything, but give me a holler if you're looking for something. I probably know where it is. So I've been here for a while. I think I'm gonna head home.